These are truly creative minds. So I'm outraged when I see their stories bottlerized, reduced to something they're not, as if these people who do this retelling have anything, any insight into the meaning of this. They don't. Dickens in the 1850s, when he saw this industry beginning, was totally outraged, wrote an article about it, and said without these fairy tales, England would not exist. Of course, Dickens wrote fairy tales, long fairy tales, I might say. Also, fairy tales, in my mind, are at the very origin of classical studies. They are close to scripture. Scripture reads like fairy tales, and fairy tales read like scripture. By that, I do not mean that scripture isn't true. I mean that fairy tales are true, in the deepest sense. <laughs>